honestly, something has to be done very soon. Because if we continue this way, as society and as people, it's not going to end well. So listen, I was young. We all were young. If, you, if you're the age I'm at, if you're in the 30s, late 30s, 40s, 50s, you know what I'm talking about. There was no way that in our timeline that we would get in a cop's face and curse a cop, disrespect a cop. There was no way. That's what I tell people. There's a difference from having freedom of speech to say what you want. That is fine. And, but there's a difference when you disrespect somebody in their face for doing their job. It's something you just don't do. When we saw the cops when we were younger, we were the most innocent kids you ever seen. You would never think that we were doing something wrong. Not in this generation. They see the cops, they curse the cops out in their face. Disrespect them. Even when they're in the when even when they're in the wrong. I can you imagine you being so wrong? But you feel so entitled and bold that you must now take out all your frustrations on that individual, which is the police. In my time, that never would have flied. Yes, we were young. I did we did a lot of things when we were younger, hanging outside, drinking, smoking. We did a lot of stupid stuff. But once we saw the cops, we know how to get our act together. This right here is beyond disrespectful. And you see it now. They get emboldened. They're robbing people in broad daylight. You see, this is what I'm talking about. When you don't discipline people, it leads to different things. Robbing people in broad daylight. Carjacking people in broad daylight. Wearing no mask. That's how bold. Imagine you as a thief. Being so bold that you just rob somebody they car without even putting a mask on your face. That's what, this goes beyond the disrespect and freedom of speech. Know the difference. Because you would not like if your boss talked to you like you were worth nothing. What would you do, honestly? You would quit that job. You would find another job. You would call human resources. If you have a union, you're calling a union rep. Why? Because you feel disrespected. Just like in real life, when cops are doing a job. It's not their job to just sit there and take disrespect. If you don't want your kids to be put in this type of situation, which you're about to see here in this video, raise your kids accordingly. Raise your kids to go in society and have respect, morals, integrity, all right, and accountability. Raise your kids right. Because this is going way too far. Hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. With that said, let's get into this one. All right, you guys see what he's wearing, right? Take a good close look. Is the weather cold? It's a chilly outside. Where's his jacket? But out there rocking a full-blown ski mask. the hell is he doing? Disrespectful, right? Look, look, look. Hey, this one right here. I'll take your ID. I ain't got no ID. Well, then you're coming with me. Put your phone down. Stop. 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 You heard, you heard the first words out of his mouth, guys. What you want, N-word. And pay close attention. That police officer is a white man. All right. Bro, what you want? Don't stop. Bro, what you are? Stop. Stay back. Stay back. I will tase you. Stay back. Stay back. What are you doing? He's going to be put on arrest. He's not for what? We're taking more units. Get back now. He's 17. That's a minor. That's called curfew. It's a minor. It's called curfew. Okay. So he's out after curfew. So you ain't got to test him like that. Stay back. Right. Stay back down. Yes, I will go with Stay you? back down. Get back. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> Get back down. Let's record. Don't, don't put your 
hands on him like that. Get back. That's what the I'm saying right Okay, he's okay. Okay. Just because he didn't have no ID, that just gives you a right to just arrest him? I can curfew. No. Really? No. Yes. You didn't know he was a minor. Yes. You didn't know he was a minor. And I know you. I don't mean to be you. You're being disorderly. Okay. Get under arrest. I'm not. 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 I'm Bro, hey, hey, y'all see this? Y'all witness? Y'all see this shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'll take y'all. Yeah. Door. Persist the door, so they can't. Yeah. Don't be talking me like that, dude. Can't breathe. Don't be. Can't breathe. I just got that today. Stop moving, I won't fall off. Give my phone. Give my phone. Give me my phone while I'm in handcuffs. You allow music. You keep. Stay back! Hey! Barman, arrest him, he resisted his arrest! Get my phone! <laughs> Damn! Get my phone! You got his hands in pocket! Get your hands in pocket! Why the f? We don't Damn. Damn! Yo, shout out to that police officer. My boy is multitasking. My boy over there in the handcuffs, taser out. <laughs> Yo! Lad, that cop deserves a raise, man. Round of applause. Round of applause. What in your right mind could make you think? Now, let me put my hands in my pocket. You never got that pep talk, young man? You don't do that. You keep your hand as far away from your pocket as possible. All right? You don't want to do that. Too many incidents went left when individuals did what you just did. You're lucky you only got tased. Are you serious? Hey, y'all see this? Dude! Y'all see this? Hey, you're still officer! Look at that clown you're over there! You're still officer! Get back! You're, you're fine, bro. You see that? That's you're right! Oh, right. uh, ho, ho. You lucky I ain't got the force to be able to do something about this, dude. I swear to God. I swear to God. Bro. Shut up! Hey, Stevenson, grab his ID. That guy's ID right there. Carlos, yep, him. Close my car. Close, close the doors in the hood on my. Shit, Cause I'm probably going to jail. Oh, yes, you are. You're under arrest. <laughs> hey, he resisted his arrest anyway. Hey. Officer, are you serious? He resisted jail, jail. arrest. You resisted arrest. My phone's broken, so that's I, that's on me. You should have resist God. arrest. I swear to. Uh, Step this way. I didn't. I didn't resist no arrest. You can take it off the front. It's on your buddy, actually. So I wouldn't pull too hard. Right here. Don't. This Don't pull away from me. I wasn't pulling away. Get in the car. Open the. Get in the car. Quit being Get in the car now. So what you got arrested for? Begin Shut with. Up. Oh, Medicine. This so kind and respectful, young man. On day. So what he does there, right? But you know me, I always cut it out. I don't show that type of nasty disrespect. Well, he spit at the police officer. Yep. These are your nice, respectful teens. Yes, people like to say they have freedom of speech to say what they want. Oh, yeah, yes, they do. But you forgot, it comes with consequences. Jesus. That's... Because we black. Is that what's going on here? Is it because everybody's yelling and screaming and acting disorderly? Loud mute. Hey! You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Loud music. Everybody's being disorderly. Everybody's fighting. Everybody's pulling away. But what you need is to stop sitting around here trying to blame everybody for your problems. You need to check yourself. This is how we go after out in public place. This is why it's happening. It's nothing to do with race. You guys are acting ridiculous. Mm. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we're. How much you want to bet, nigga? You can't use no. Quit, quit cussing. Like quit cussing. Man, that cop was yelling at him like his father. That's what he need. Yes, that's right. Handle him like a real man. They want to play little tough guys.
No respect for elders. No respect for police. If they don't have respect, you think they're going to have respect for you? No, they won't. Listen to that young man. Huh? Yeah, calling the cop the N-word. I bet you that cop said the N-word back. He's fired. That cop is gone. Terminated. Yeah, you see when he got up to that the other young man by the car with the phone? You remember he, he was the same young man that was talking about, watch guys, what they're doing, look what they're doing. When that cop started yelling, you see what humble he got? He got humble real quick. He wasn't trying to go to jail. Yeah. What does that tell you guys? Let me see if you guys catch on to that. What does that tell you? That goes to show you that's not who this individual really is. He's smart. He knows what they're doing is wrong. And he knows what time it was. The other ones are still talking smack because that's just who they are. Like I always say, be mindful of the company that you keep. They're disrespectful. They're rude. Oh, they're blasting music. Pull a bunch of disrespect. Man, come on. You know people business, man. You in the parking lot. I understand you in the parking lot hanging out. We did that when we was younger. But you got to be mindful, man. Like, what do you think this is? I wore a full-blown ski mask on. That shit is not fashion. Maybe in the wintertime, it's snowing and it's cold outside. I could understand that. But in the hot summertime, full-blown ski mask, acting like it's cool. Nah, you look sus. And then, then your behavior, your attitude. These young, these young men were never taught respect. And that's the problem we have these days. And you see how rude and angry and disrespectful they are? And the system probably let them off. The system probably let them off the hook. That's why we keep having what we're having right now in society. There's no respect. I see old people being disrespected by the young guys like this. That's why I tell you guys, it's, be, it's far beyond freedom of speech. You got freedom of speech. They have freedom of speech. They have freedom of speech. Yeah, you know what they're disrespecting old, old people? I saw a video in New York City when the guy snatched the old lady's purse, the young man, and it's pushed her over. Disrespectful. No mask on his face. That's why I'm telling you. That's how bold they are becoming. I want you to become that bold. How far do you think they're going to take it to? Huh? You want to get some coming to your house? Because that's what's next. No respect. We never acted like that. I remember me and my boys when I was like 16, 17, walking around the block, you know, smoking a little something, something, something. And my, my friend was drinking. <laughs> we were young, man. Come on. And now we walking around the corner. I was saw the lights came on my boy in the bushes. Because I bam. So I was smoking a cigarette real quick. <laughs> Cop pulled up. What the young man doing? You ain't causing no trouble, huh? Guys just hanging out. Just walking around talking. Yeah, then my friend was like, yeah. My friend over here, yeah, yeah, him and his girlfriend broke up. So, you know, we take him to get some fresh air. Talk, trying to calm him down a little bit. A couple of like, all right, I understand that. Let's make sure y'all men stay out of trouble, all right? Continue the rest of your night. That was it. Can you imagine if we acted like that? <laughs> That's how you're supposed to handle the situation. That's what I'm saying. They have no respect for nobody. Nobody. And that is bad, especially coming to the home. And now we see kids hurting their own parents. They never address these type of behaviors. I'll leave, I'll leave you guys, I'll leave you guys with this right here. It was like two years ago. This father finally caught on to what his son was doing. He was recording videos and stuff like that, putting it on YouTube. It, it, it took down now. And he, he was recording videos on YouTube. You know, trying to be like a drill rapper. And um had the guns flashing, all type of stuff. I don't know how long they had the father saw it, but from when he saw it, when he when he first responded to it, it was too late. The father called him, hey, where you at? So and so, so and so. Time for you to come home. Now. Father went, got him, brought him home. Guys, this is why you have to pay close attention to what your kid's doing and who they are hanging out with. Who they're chilling, who they're interacting with. Because when the father did that, and the father, um, I guess, was talking to the mom, whoever they was talking to, this young man went into his room, got a gun, and took their lives. 
He was, I think he was like 18, he was like 18, 19 years old. Yes, he took their lives. Yep. Yeah. All because his father told him it's time to come home now. He didn't want to hang, because he saw the video. He didn't want you hanging around with this type of people no more. It was too late for the father to try to control that. This is what happens when you let it go for so long. It only comes back to bite you. These young men were disrespectful and rude. Now picture if, the, if you were one of those cops. And some altercation happened. How do you think they're going to treat you? Hmm? This is why we have to address this type of situation right now. We have to stop it. In the tracks. It's getting ridiculous. Look at the smash and grabs. It's a, it's a lot of older people, but the majority of teens smashing and grabbing and stealing. Tell me when the last time you ever did that in the early 2000s and the 90s and the 80s. When was the last time you did something like that and got away with it? We have to do better. It's time for a change. If we don't, if we don't stop and fight now, it's only going to get worse. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. You guys honestly believe that they were respectful. They were nice things. They were hanging out in the parking lot, chilling. You know, when you're young, you just want to have some fun. Crank the music up. Wear some ski masks. They were doing nothing wrong. They were nice, peaceful young kids. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.